give us some background information about yourself and your area of scientific expertise. Okay, hi, my name is Nathaniel Plant. I'm an oceanographer at the United States Geological Survey, and uh, my interest is in prediction of coastal changes, so changes of the landform, typically in response to storms or uh, longer-term uh, drivers such as sea level rise. In your opinion, what is the importance of increased coastal resilience globally? Okay, uh, I think uh, first perhaps uh, deciding on what the definition of resilience is uh, is important and I think there's there's two forms. One is uh, physical and one is mental. Uh, the, the physical part is will we be able to uh, withstand or bounce back from uh, severe events or chronic uh, erosion processes, and so that's looking after our infrastructure. Uh, but the other one is mental. So are we going to be surprised by uh, the events that come in the future? And I think uh, both of those are really important, and, and probably the mental one, being prepared for what might happen regardless of whether we're physically prepared for it. Could you please refer to the reasons that drew you to participate in RISC-IT as a member of the International Board? Okay, this project really overlaps with uh, some of the objectives of our work at the U.S. Geological Survey. So it, it uh, spans a, a broad range of scientific approaches to understanding uh, vulnerability and resilience and uh, taking the, the physical process knowledge that we have and applying it to society. So I think our, our, uh, one of our objectives at the Geological Survey is how do we have more impact on the people and the Risk It project is a, a model project on how you try and bridge that gap. Can you name three factors that in your view distinguish, distinguish Risk It's approach in tackling issues regarding coastal resilience? Okay, well, so one is the one I just mentioned, that the, uh, there's this honest effort to connect uh, the scientific knowledge to applications and to society. So uh, that, that's, that's one that's really important. I think the other one is coping with uncertainty. So there's going to be uncertainty uh, from all sorts of sources. And so that, uh, that's one that risk is really taking care of. Um, and then I think the, the third is we have this uh, understanding and excellent predictive technology that still can be improved, so they're uh, taking care to make sure those improvements happen as well. In what ways do you believe that risk it will contribute to Europe's and the world's ability to deal with coastal risks? Okay, well, I, I think, uh, again, the, the three topics that I just listed, so uh, connecting the, the research understanding to people, um, dealing with the uncertainty that is something that we have to face, and then uh, generating a, a, an understanding of what we know and what we don't know, and directing uh, the, the international effort for science uh, to making improvements that really have an impact. Do you think that the output of the risk project will be directly applicable in your country and in your work? Uh, uh, that you're doing in the future. Yes, absolutely. And it, I think uh, the, the one that I'm particularly interested in is uh, this experiment on connecting the, the physical process research with the social scientists and the, the users. Um, we desperately need to do that job better. I don't know how to do it better uh, currently, so I'm, I'm looking to risk it for that. In your opinion, what is the relative importance of science and society interaction for global coastal resilience? Wow, uh, so th this is almost heresy, um, but I, I think I would have to say that uh, you know science is like one percent important, and society is ninety-nine percent of the importance. So nothing major will uh, come out of our scientific efforts if it's not embraced and utilized by society. And I think we'll make uh, small contributions scientifically to understanding how our coastal systems work and what the vulnerabilities are, how to make it more resilient. Uh, that's understanding. None of that will be transferred to application uh, unless society decides that it's important. And so I, I think we, we place most of the bet on, on society in that context. Thank you very much. Thank you.